Hello, and thanks for taking the time to look at a little bit of hidden Maximo functionality. Functionality delivered with a core product, it may require a little bit of configuration or tailoring, and sometimes you just need to know it's there. First off, how many people use activities and tasks? Probably not a lot. Uh, one of the things about the activities and tasks I have, application, particularly if you are using condition monitoring, you can utilize it to actually provide the condition monitoring information in an easier to read and down, read, query, and download uh, format. Simply by modifying, uh, taking a few columns off of the screen and adding a few, particularly measurement point, value, observation, and the measurement date, uh, making them easier to query and again to download as well as review. Uh, the entire process takes about half an hour. Um, these are kind of the individual steps. You, know, you want to make sure you're doing this in dev. Uh, make sure that the dev version has what's in production. Export your archive, export and archive the XML. Uh, remove fields, add fields, test it out. Uh, and then you can just redo the change in production or you can export the change from dev to production depending on how you want to uh, do that. And that's really about it. Um, this is kind of what it looks like, but, you know, since I have the opportunity, let's go look at this in Maximo. So let's pop on over to the Activities and Tasks application. And we'll notice that, you know, it's got the additional fields. And in fact, I want to look at measurements after June 1st. There they are. And of course, there's my download button, for which I can then open up and see a spreadsheet that has those values, our observations, and then I can just kind of go from there uh, with any analysis I want to do in Excel.